You see a look of distrust in his eyes. No, I'm good, Throm. I'm good. I don't trust you. That's the problem. Slowly. Good morning, everyone. I'm Dave from the Wee Hours, and we are back with Fighting Fantasy Legends Portal Death Trap Dungeon, and we have suffered our first death. Not surprising in Death Trap Dungeon. Not surprising from any fighting fantasy, really. But uh, the game has rolled back time. We have nine lives. We're down to eight now. And the game has rolled back time to just before when we died in the gallery lined with mirrors. And I already know what horror is going to pop out of here because all mirrors are terrible. In every fantasy setting, all mirrors are the worst thing in the world. A human skeleton appears to be pulled halfway through a mirror along the right-hand wall. Yes, we know. And suddenly, a grotesque being with four arms and four screaming faces emerges from the mirror, just like he did last time and murdered me. So, this is going to happen. All right, we didn't have any luck with smashing the mirrors the last time, but that is the way to go here. That is clearly the way to go. We've got to get these mirrors down to kill the mirror demon. That is very, very standard fantasy stuff because mirrors are the worst. Don't go anywhere near a mirror if you're in a fantasy setting. Swing your sword against the mirror with, with all your might, but to no effect, the mirror demon advances. Yes, I want to try again. Test our skill, target score of three. Now, we failed miserably the last time. However, we do have our skill potion, and we can pass one skill test automatically. Is this the right place to use it? I don't know, but we're going to do it anyway, because I want this mirror demon. He, we have no shot against him. We can't fight him. He's just going to automatically kill us, in case you missed the last episode. So, yeah, I'm going to use this to automatically pass my skill test. Thank you. We are skillful. The mirror shatters, sending fragments of glass flying everywhere. Mirror demons, four faces cry out in agony and cracks appear all over them. Then they too shatter and fall to the floor in a pile of broken glass. Uh, oh, now we get to fight it. Oh, super. This'll be fun. And it has a skill of ten. That's, that's a larger number than I would like. Okay, cool. Yay, let's fight a mirror demon. Oh, we just automatically killed it. Oh, okay, I thought we were fighting it. Never mind, Fighting Fantasy. I'm sorry, Death Trap Dungeon. I didn't understand what you were doing. We just beat it. Yay, we've got the next XP target. Okay, cool. Well, skill seems to be the way to go. Oh, uh, we are getting way more skill checks than we are luck checks, so let's keep the skill ticking up. Let's get more points on those dice, please. Yes, thank you. Absolutely. Cool, and we got a little thing to our codex here. Yep, Mirror Demon. Cool, our creature codex is 6% complete. Okay, that sounds like we've got a lot of monsters to fight. All right, let's get out of the mirror room. Quickly, please, quickly, out of the mirror area. Let's get out of the mirror zone. No mirrors, please. In front of you are two flights of stone steps covered in hundreds of rat skulls. Wow, okay. Uh, left or right? Uh, I don't know. Right? Sure. Just delicately walk past the hundreds of rat skulls. As you put your weight onto a step, you feel it giving way. So I probably just said, oh, we don't need luck points, and now it's going to be a luck check, isn't it? Yep, it sure is. It's a luck check. Target score of two. Please? No. We're unlucky. I should have put a point into luck. I know we're unlucky. Your leg sinks into a deep hole, and before you have time to pull it out, you feel a pain in your foot as unseen sharp teeth sink into it. Probably a rat, I'm gonna guess. Maybe a serial killer rat who's dealt with all these rat skulls. You hear a high-pitched squeaking from below being made by rats. They are starved and ribbon to your foot, hungry for your flesh. You lose two stamina. I don't really, I don't really have that to lose here. I really need a healing item, sort of immediately. Oh, what horror are we going to now? Oh, it's a random encounter. Okay, please be a healing item and not some horrible monster. Nope, it's a horrible monster. We're attacked by a goblin. Okay, I'm pretty confident against the goblin. I guess. Yes, we, we will roll some dice here, please. Thank you. That that looks vaguely promising. That took him down pretty well. Oh, he got, he's getting a shot in. There's, it's not nothing there. Yeah, we really, really need a healing item. Like, like yesterday, we needed a healing item. Okay, the goblin went down. I was pretty confident about that, but we can't 
take any more hits. We're down to five stamina out of 18, and, and that can't end well. What's your deal? Tunnel soon ends at a junction. Standing there alone and wondering which way to go is one of your rivals. It's one of the barbarians. Oh, I found your brother. He's dead. Sorry. I, I stole something off him, too. But, you know, he was dead, so it's not, like, really stealing. It's only sort of stealing. You call out to him, but at first he does not answer. He merely stares at you coldly, his hands firmly gripping his sword. Please don't fight me. Please, just just don't fight me. How about you don't fight me? You ask him which way he's heading. He grunts his reply, saying that he's going west. And you may go with him if you wish. Um, no? I feel you're going to end up attacking me. I'm stretching my memory to try to remember what happens in Death Trap Dungeon if you go with him. And I am totally not remembering that. But I can... I mean, he is a competitor. Uh, there's only one of us walking out of here, so at some point he's probably going to turn on me. I, um, I'm going to go east. I'm going to go whichever way you're not going. How about that? Tunnel comes to a dead end. Okay, well, that was uneventful. Piece of paper, brown and curled with age, is pinned to the wall. All right. Yes, I would like to read the paper. Paper bears a simple warning written in dried blood. Beware the trial masters. Well... Aren't those the guys who kind of set up this whole Death Trap dungeon? I, I kind of walked in here bewaring. Thank you. You replace the paper on its nail and head west to join the Barbarian. Okay. I guess we got a buddy. You return to the Barbarian and tell him that the eastern passage comes to a dead end. He nods his head in silent understanding and you both head west. Should I be telling you about your dead brother? Are you going to attack me now? You feel slightly uneasy in the company of the Barbarian, knowing that there can only be one winner in the Trial of Champions. Yeah, I know. I, he's totally going to turn on me. He introduces himself as Throm. Oh, we, we looked at your box earlier, but we didn't take anything out of it, Throm. I just want you to know that you both agree to share in benefits of a temporary alliance. Throm, do you have any healing items? Just, you know... Just asking. You tell each other of your exploits so far, of the monsters and traps encountered and the dangers overcome. Should I be telling him about his dead brother at all? You soon come to the edge of a wide pit which has a large plank of wood lay across it. Can't quite see the bottom of the pit, but Throm offers to lower you down into it with his rope. Um, no? Yeah, make, make Throm go first. I'm not, I'm not... No, he's just gonna he's gonna pull up the rope and leave me here or something. Throm ties the rope around his waist, giving you the free end. You see a look of distrust in his eyes. No, I'm good, Throm. I'm good. I don't trust you. That's the problem. Slowly he climbs over the edge of the pit while you brace yourself and take the strain of the rope. You lower him little by little, and he eventually reaches the bottom. He calls up to you, saying that there's another tunnel running north. Okay. Tells you to secure the rope around a rock protruding from the edge of the pit and lower yourself from the bottom. Could I do neither of those? Can I just leave the rope tied up here for you and then go somewhere else? You could stay with Throm and head north down the lower tunnel or abandon him and cross the pit to head west. I don't really want to abandon him, but I don't, I don't really want to go with him either. I'd like, I'd like an option where I can tie the rope off and he can come and go as he pleases, but I go somewhere else. Well... Let's keep traveling with him for now. After tying the rope around the rock, you lower yourself slowly to the bottom of the pit. Throm retrieves his rope by shaking it off the rock. Why did you do that, Throm? Why would you do that? Now we can't get back up. You set off together down the new tunnel. Why would you do that, Throm? That was silly. On a stone ledge, you see two dusty leather-bound books. Throm grunts his contempt for the written word, urging you to leave the books and hurry on. Well, not all of us are barbarians. Open the red book, open the black book, or walk away. Well, red or black are probably both horribly evil. So, red. Yay. As you open the book, it begins to disintegrate and the pages turn to dust in your hands. You manage to keep a few fragments and read the handwritten script. The book appears to be about monsters, and it contains a full description of a monster called the Blood Beast. You mean the one that's on the cover of the paper edition of Death Trap Dungeon? Yes, I'm familiar with that. It is a horrific, bloated creature with tough, spiny skin and facial blisters, which burst open to become mock eyes, evolved to hide the Blood Beast's only weak spot, its real eyes. 
Blood beasts usually dwell in pools of fetid slime which give off a poisonous gas. This gas is so strong that it can easily knock people unconscious. Although too bulbous to haul itself out of its slime pool, it has a long and vicious tongue which it wraps around its victims before it drags them into the pool. Well, this just seems like an apex predator. As the victim's flesh starts to decompose in the vile slime, the blood beast will feed from it. Yay! Super. Looking forward to that. You tell Thrum about the blood beast, but he merely shrugs his shoulders and tells you to get going. Okay. You've gained a quest. Defeat the blood beast. No. I would prefer not to, actually. Eh, okay, we got lucky with the red book. So let's walk away from the black book. That seems very, very sensible. The tunnel turns to the right, continuing east. Throm stops and tells you to halt as well. Oh dear. He turns his head slowly from side to side, listening. I hear footsteps coming down the tunnel towards us. Draw your sword. You both prepare for battle, and a moment later you see the silhouette of two armed figures approaching. Throm dashes forward, screaming a loud battle cry. There are two cave trolls in front of you. Throm attacks the first one with a sword, and you run to his aid to attack the second cave troll. Or, or, we, we could walk the other way. We could just walk away from all of this. Oh, the cave troll is not nothing either. All right. Let's, uh, I can't afford to be in combat right now. I have no stamina left. Oh, that's a good roll, though. That's a solid roll. Yeah, that, that's gonna hurt. Oh, that's also a solid roll. That's going to hurt me. I don't see myself living through this. Oh, that's a very good roll. We might have just got that. There we go. Do we get him? Yeah, we got him. Okay, cool. Throm stands over the cave troll. He is slain. Blood is pouring out from a deep cut in his shoulder, but it does not seem to worry him. So I'm going to guess you don't have any healing items, Throm, because you're not healing yourself. You search the bodies of the cave trolls and find a bone ring on a leather cord hanging around the neck of one of them. The ring is engraved with a symbol which Throm recognizes. He explains that it must have belonged to druids of the north and that an ancient talisman such as this will increase your powers if your body is able to accept it. Now see, right now, that sounds like a stamina loss if I put this thing on. Throm will not touch us and advise you to leave well enough alone. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to agree with you, actually, because if that's a stamina loss, I can't afford that, Throm. So you are pretty much the smartest barbarian I have met today. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and not put the ring on. Even if it's a great ring, I might die putting it on. The tunnel leads into a damp cavern with a rock-strewn floor. Long, dripping, teeth-like stalactites hand, hand down threateningly from the ceiling. Okay, I might be a mis misprint there, but hand down threateningly from the ceiling. Uh, do I want to search the stalactites, or are they going to drop on me and kill me? Let's find out. You look around but find nothing of interest. Throm calls out behind you, saying that he has found a leather pouch under a pile of rocks. Okay. Opening the pouch, he laughs out loud as a tiny mouse runs through his fingers and scurries off into a crevice between two boulders. Suddenly, you hear the sound of cracking rock above you, and look up to see stalactites breaking off the roof. Yeah, I kind of thought this was going to happen. Throm's booming laugh, which still echoes through the chamber, has made the stalactites vibrate and break off. Throm, you moron. Throm starts to run eastwards out of the chamber as the stalactites crash to the floor. Oh, it's another luck roll. Yeah, what did I say? Oh, we're not going to need luck. What have we had so far? Nothing but luck rolls. Oh, that's not good. No, that's not good at all. I think we're probably dead again. Unlucky! A stalactite crashes down on top of you. It's pointed tip piercing your leg. Five stamina. We are so dead. Everything goes black. We have lost a life. Nobody is surprised by that. A big rock fell on me. You eventually regain consciousness near the entrance to the dungeon. We're back at the start. Stamina replenished, though, so we got that going for us. If stamina reaches zero, you'll fall unconscious and revived at the start of the current area. Okay, so I'm assuming that didn't happen with the Mirror Demon, because we didn't actually lose all our stamina as much as we were pulled into a horrific mirror dimension and tortured and something, or murdered, or whatever. One way or another, we didn't technically die. We were just taken away somewhere lose one life yes i know we're 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 having problems with that keep all our treasures and uh, xp well that's good at least now we kind of have to start all over again yes boxes i we, we did the boxes before 
Uh, you know what? Throm's deep in the dungeon, but we probably, again, shouldn't open his box. It's probably trapped. Uh, Throm's somewhere else right now. Throm's off doing his own thing. A white arrow points west. Yet yeah, we have kind of done this. On the floor, you can see many wet footprints. There are too many to count, but most are following the direction of the arrow. Get me over to the random encounter. Let's see if there's anything cool over here, like maybe another healing item. Uh, or not. Or not. Maybe another cave troll. Or an orc. Six of one, half dozen of the other, really. Okay, sure. Let's see what we can do with this. I mean, we are stronger than we were the first time we came in here, so we've got that going for us. Oh, bad roll on your part, orc. Alright. I think we should be able to handle this guy right now. Yeah. That's at least the advantage. We are way stronger than we were the first time we came in here. He's done. Off we go over here, where we've already been. Yes, uh, it's the lava room again. Yeah, and are we going to hit the straw thing? Okay, last time we were in the lava room, we did not drink the clear liquid from the bamboo straw in the wall, because that's gross. Now let's try drinking it. Throat is painfully dry, and you feel a little dizzy from the heat in the tunnel. Look, liquid looks very inviting. Let's try drinking it. See what happens. Water in the bamboo pipe is what welcomely refreshing. You start off north again in good spirits. I think we're a little tipsy. That might have been an alcoholic bamboo beverage. Temperature continues to rise, and you find yourself dripping with set sweat. The floor in this area feels like hot ash, and you struggle to walk across it. But have I gained anything from drinking the liquid? Pools of molten, molten lava give off a tremendous heat, which you find almost unbearable. You feel yourself passing out. Temperature is higher than you could normally tolerate. You somehow manage to keep from passing out and press on. Okay, so yeah, drink the strange goo in the wall. That'll get you through the lava room. Good information there. And we already know what's in that room. That's where we found the first barbarian and we looted his corpse. I'm assuming he's still looted. Notice more footprints on the floor heading north and we're going north, apparently. Oh, yes. Yes, the, the horrible idol that we've already dealt with. So we don't need to deal with that anymore, which is nice game. I appreciate you just kind of getting me past the things I've already done. That's, that's rather good of you, actually. We've already been in that door, too. That's where the number puzzle was, the math puzzle. I, that's the creepy old man, and the knight is in there, too. Ah, yes, Thin Shaft of Light. Okay, again, just like I said the last time, I've seen Indiana Jones. I know what happens if you walk through a shaft of light in a, light in a tunnel, you get murdered. So, no, we're going to avoid the light. Walk right past the light. Spikes will come out of the wall or something. That's how these things work. Random encounter over here. Let's go check that out. What do we got? Dra oh, it's a trap. Okay. Must follow the instructions on the card. Trap knowledge special skill, which I don't have, will reduce damage caused by traps. Now, previously, there was a bunch of flies in this room that we... Oh, all right. Indiana Jones darts fly at me from the walls, so I... I guess I'm not Indiana Jonesing my way out by avoiding the light. We're getting hit by spikes anyway. Are we lucky? Actually, that looks like a pretty solid roll there. What did we... Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay. Excellent. Yay. Got a little XP for that. Yeah, the worms and flies were in that room the last time. So, kind of neat. You know, I, I like the fact that when we die, A, we're being taken through things we've already done, but we're blazing right by them because we've already done them, and there are different things in the rooms that we conquered. That's kind of interesting. I don't actually remember which way we came the last time, so let's go this way. Uh, oh, I don't, I don't think we looked in here, did we? Oh, maybe we did. Yeah, random encounter, so sure, what do you got for me? A goblin. Okay, well, you know what? Probably pretty easy to kill, and it'll be some experience. Pretty easy to kill. I completely fluffed that, didn't I? Yeah, I completely fluffed that. He did not, however. I mean, he got a point of damage, but it's a point of damage I didn't want to take. That's more like it. There we go. That solves my goblin issue. Oh, so close to the next level. So close. Let's just see if we can get that next level. Now, did we go... I feel we went in there before. Let's actually go back the other way. Oh, wait, I, this might be a dead end. Yeah, this is the pit. The other way was a dead end, and we jumped across the pit. Okay. Yeah, we're going to jump across the pit again. Target score of two. We should be able to do that. Just barely, mind you. Just barely. All right, we're over the pit. A little XP for that. There we go. All right, now I'll take a point of luck. Now it'll be nothing but skill checks after this, but now I'll take a point of luck. Okay. 
So we're slightly more lucky than we were before, and we're on the other side of the big pit. Excellent. And, oh, actually, was that the room? This might have been the room with the math guy. Yeah, it totally was. Uh, lifelike statues of knights and warriors. Yep, old man starts to giggle. We've kind of done you before. If you want to give me exactly the same math problem, I know the answer to it now. I will allow you to take one treasure from the chest if you answer a question correctly. Ah, uh, sure. Yeah. Are you going to give me this? Oh, it's not the same math problem. Dang. Darn it, Fighting Fantasy Legends Portal. You've figured out my clever ruse. You've actually got multiple math problems for this guy. How dare you? All right, let me let me let me grab a calculator or something and figure this one out. Math is math is not what I do. On the way to the tavern, I met a dwarf with six sons, five daughters, and three cousins. How many were going to the tavern? Well, just the dwarf, right? It doesn't actually say. I mean. None of them, actually, because it doesn't actually even say the dwarf is going to the tavern. She says, I'm going to the tavern. I, yeah, that's how many were going to the tavern. Just one. At, at no point does it say that all of them were going, or even any of them were going. Yeah, one. One, right? Well done, stranger. You have answered my question correctly. Okay, let's take a mystery item. I've unlocked the title Riddle Master. Yeah, I've solved two math problems, which is probably more than I've done in my entire life. And pull something out of the chest. A bandage. Ooh. One injury from your skill dice. I would have preferred just a flat-out stamina heal, but I'll take it, obviously. Bid the old man farewell and leave his room to continue north along the passage. Darn you. Multiple math problems. I wonder how many there are. I, I almost kind of want to just keep dying and coming back to his room to see how many math problems there are. Uh, letter X is scratched into its center panel. Uh, did we go in this room before? I feel that we did. But let's just confirm that. Oh, now it's a random encounter. Yeah, we've definitely been in here before. Oh, dear. There's a scurrying. A rock grub. Super. That looks fun. Let, let's kill a rock grub. Wow, we're just doing terrible on the rolls. We're not very good at rolling dice. And and the rock rub is not much better, but but it's not nothing. So you're already down to 15 out of 18. This is not what I want to be seeing. That's a good roll. That that deal with him? Yes, that dealt with him. Cool. Excellent. And let's head... I can't go back out the room. I'd kind of like to go back out and look through the other passage, because we went this way before. But at least we're heading back in the direction we should be going. Another random encounter. What do we got here? A tome. Plus 5 XP. Okay, I'll take that. Thank you. Very much appreciated. And another random encounter. Please say healing item. Please say healing item. It's a trap. And it's not even, it's not even a trap I can do anything about. You push the wall, hear a click, feel dizzy, and slump to the ground, and lose two stamina. Okay, so I'm just out. I'm, I'm just I'm just out. Yes, I know I've lost two stamina. I didn't even have a chance to do a luck check for that or anything. All right, north or south again. Here we go. But that's probably a good place to call it on Fighting Fantasy Legends Portal for today. We will pick it up again next time and see if we can work our way back through Death Trap Dungeon. Maybe, possibly, probably not. It's Death Trap Dungeon. Nobody survives this. But we'll figure it out next time. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time.